In this video, we're going to take a look at standard 8.7b, which says the student is expected to use previous knowledge of surface area to make connections to the formulas for lateral and total surface area and determine solutions for problems involving rectangular prisms, triangular prisms, and cylinders. When you are teaching the standard to your students, um, it is important to, make, to have available for them the reference material sheet from the STAR Grade 8 Mathematics Assessment. On this sheet, the formula for surface area is provided um, for both a prism and a cylinder. The lateral surface area and the total surface area formulas are provided for both. So we want the students using this reference material in sheets so that on the day of this, uh, using it in class, so on the day of the assessment, they're comfortable with, with this reference material sheet and know how to read it and use the formulas on there. So we're going to look at an example from the release star assessment items from 2016 March assessment. The problem says a rectangular prism and its dimensions are shown in the diagram. What is the total surface area of this rectangular prism in square inches? So referencing our sheet to define the formula, let's look for the total surface area for a prism. The formula is S equals pH plus 2B. So let's look at each of those variables and identify what they represent. So the S is the total surface area of the prism. This P, capital P, is the perimeter of the base of the prism. H is the height of the prism, and just a reminder that the height is the length of the side that is perpendicular to both bases. And capital B is the area of the base of the prism. Uh, an important note is that prisms are named by the shape of the base. So in the problem, since we're told it's a rectangular prism, we know that the base is a rectangle. So let's look at this formula. There's lots of pieces to it. And I'm actually going to use different colors for each variable. We're going to find each of these variables separately and then substitute those values back into this formula. So let's start with capital P, which is the perimeter of the base. So we know that perimeter, um, the base is a rectangle. The formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. So the base, I'm going to call the, the face that the prism is actually sitting on the base. So that rectangle has dimensions of 8.2 inches and 3.4 inches. So we're going to substitute those values into the perimeter formula. So 2 times 8.2 plus 2 times 3.4. Go ahead and multiply and add, simplify, and we're going to get that the perimeter is 23.2 inches. The height of the prism, remember that the height is the length of the side that is perpendicular to both bases. So here are our bases. It's the one that the rectangular prism is sitting on and the one opposite it. The perpendicular uh, side between those two bases has a, has a length of two. So the height is two inches. Now we're going to find the area of the base. So the area of the base, well the base is a rectangle, so the formula for the area of the rectangle is length times width. So the area of the base, 8.2 times 3.4. Multiply that and we're going to get a value of 27.88 inches squared for the area of the base. Now we're going to take these values that we just calculated and substitute into the formula for surface area, total surface area. So S 
equals P, our perimeter of the base is 23.2 inches. The height of the prism is two inches. Plus two, that's part of the formula. Now the area of the base is 27.88 inches squared. So just a reminder here, perimeter, we calculated perimeter, substitute that value into the formula. Found the height from the diagram, substituted that value into the formula. Found the area of the base, substituted that value into the formula. Now we're gonna go ahead and simplify. And we get that the formula or the value for the total surface area of this rectangular prism is 102.16 inches squared.